Welcome. Today's lesson is on the CDE competition agronomy. Last summer, ag teachers set out to um, update and re refurbish our FFA curricular code on agronomy. We wanted it to make it a little bit more competitive and also upgrade it uh, to some industry standards. We chose basically three goals. Number one is we obviously wanted to challenge our students to a little bit higher level, that being of course industry. Second of all, we wanted also to be able to, to develop new skills that the industry thought was important and we came up with those uh, three new additions. And then lastly, we wanted to be able to uh, add something that will help us get prepared uh, for the teams going back to nationals. So today what I, what I want to do is just take one of those things, which is the grain grading um, process. And in particular, we're going to be looking at corn. Now when you first sit down at the competition, you're going to need four sheets of paper. One of them is this scorecard that you see here, very similar to the one that you might see uh, when growers are getting paid. So the other three sheets, this one in particular, is called the load analysis. So as you are uh, digging all those papers out, one of the first things you need to do is transfer the load analysis to your scorecard. Make sure it includes your first name and last name, your student ID, the date, also the lot number that you get from the load analysis sheet, as well as the base price, the market price of what you're going to get. Notice it's per bushel. Many of the commodities uh, that are on the uh, market today um, go with, the, of course, the, the measurement of, of bushels. In California, we go by the ton or the pound or the 100 pounds, uh, but this is a conversion factor that, that you'll find useful at some point. Well, first of all, from our load analysis, we're going to get the 53.7 pounds per bushel. That is what we call our test weight. Then the second thing on the list is our moisture. Moisture is real critical because the amount of water that's in those uh, um, that's in the grains will determine uh, the quality maybe later on. Too wet, you're going to get mold and mildew. Uh, too dry, you get cracks and breaks. Then when we look at the dockage, in this load, there was no dockage, but notice they put a zero on the analysis. You also need to transfer your that zero to the amounts column. Then when we get to damage kernels, are 6%, and that's listed on the load analysis as well, and transfer that. Notice we don't put percent, we don't put pounds, because that's already in the, uh, um, in the spreadsheet that you see in front of you. There's no flint corn, there's no flint or dent corn. Um, there is one thing missing though. If you look on the, the analysis, you'll notice there's things all called foreign materials. It's not on the scorecard. But it's important to be in the load analysis, you need to write it in one of the blanks. So we're going to write down foreign material. Now that says it's 3.1%. Make sure you copy that down as well. Now that we're done with the first sheet, now what we can do is the second step. This is uh, provided by the USDA. The analysis that we just saw, uh, that was provided uh, primarily by uh, USDA as well. What happens is whoever buys the grain, they will contract with a grain mill or a USD grading station to do the analysis, kind of a third party approach. That's where that came from. This one came directly off the internet from the USDA. It's a handbook number two, and it has most of all the grain and some bean commodities that you can uh, use. What we're going to do next is we're going to determine the grade of this particular sample. First of all, we're going to look at the test weight. And when you're doing dealing with test weight, it's usually minimums we look at. So if we look at this grade grading sheet, it says US number one has a minimum, minimum now, of 56 pounds per bushel. Now ours is 53.7, so it doesn't fit a grade one. If we go to grade two, it's 54, a minimum of 54. Ours doesn't reach that category either, so it's still haven't figured out the grade. It says in U.S. number one three, uh, number one three, 52 is the minimum. Well, ours fits in the that grade. So at this particular point in time, we have a USDA number three a grade. You don't necessarily have to put U.S. number three, but it's a grade three at this time. Um, 
let's move on. Um, what we do is we will go to the uh, lowest grade. That's how we'll grade out. And right now we're at uh, uh, grade three. If we look at our heat damage kernels, it's 0.18. Make sure you uh, make that that particular decimal is right, 0.18. And if we go to our maximum that says heat damage kernels, it says for grade number two, US number two, it's 0.2. So in this category, we grade two. But because the other grade three, we will take the lowest one. So we're still at three. Hopefully, we don't go any lower than three. But we could. So we have to look at the other one, which is foreign material. We have a foreign material. Uh, excuse me. We have to go to damaged seeds or damaged kernels first. It's 6%. 6% means that uh, if, we at, if we're at U.S. number 2, our maximum we can have is 5%. Uh, percent. We're at 6. U.S. number 3 says you can't um, get any higher than 7%. We're at 6, so we're between 5 and 6. That still uh, puts us in the U.S. number 3 category. And then lastly, we get to foreign material. We're at 3.1%. U.S. number two says you can't have a you cannot have a maximum of over three to be in number two. We do have we do go over that um, maximum requirement, so it puts us again in U.S. number three. So our grading is U.S. number three, yellow corn. Make sure you put in the kind yellow corn, and also it says U.S. grade number three. So. This next part is we're going to be looking at what we call a discount schedule. This comes from the mill. This is comes from the place that actually buys the, the farmer's product. Every mill has a different uh, discount sheet. They can put anything they want to it. Um, so you have to kind of read these extremely carefully. So the first one we're going to look at is our test weight. The test weight, if you follow that red line down, between 53.9 and 53 pounds uh, per bushel. Um, if you're in that category, that range is two percent deduction per bushel, and we have we're in that range. So we're going to take a two cent deduction, 0 0.02. Then we're going to check in at. We're going to look at our moisture content. I guess that's next on the list. We have 15 percent. We find that on the moisture discounts uh, side of things. It says 15 percent to 15.19. Pretty narrow range. And you'll have a three cent deduction if you're in that range, and we are, so we had taken a three cent deduction. And then so on, and like for instance on dockers, we, we don't list any, you still put a zero on it. Then we're going to um, damage kernels percentage. We're in the six percent category. 5.1 to six gets another two cent deduction. And another zero, so we put zero, another zero, and there we go. And then for heat damaged, uh, it's a three point um, three cent uh, three cent deduction. Make sure you check that because uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off. And that's two cents off for having three point one percent foreign material in our load. So make sure you check that. Don't take my word for it. Check to make sure it's correct. Then if they, it is correct, go ahead and go through through each one of those and add them up, and you'll have a twelve cent deduction. So now here comes the fun part is we're going to see how much money we're going to make on this. So we have a 12 uh, cents deduction. So you're going to take that 12 cents, subtract it from $3.33 per bushel. So we're going to have a grand total at the very end. $3.21 is what we're going to get for this load. Now, for the most part, that's done. But in terms of you getting a score on this, let me go over that with you. It's a total of 50 total points. 25 comes from the grade and kind plus the amounts. That's 25 points. The other 25 points comes from the base price, the discounts, as well as the final price. You add those up together to get 50 points. So on the amount side of things, you get a point for every correct entry in each of those rows that you enter anything. That's why those zeros, are, those zeros are important. If you don't have those, we assume that you didn't read the load analysis and won't give you credit for it. So in this scenario, what we do is we add up all of those uh, rows. Um, for the amounts column, there are eight entries. You'll get eight points, one point for every one of those entries. 
in the grade in kind, 8 minus 25 is 17, so you get 17 points. Half of those points go to the grade, and the other half go to the kind. So that's worth 25 points. So let's look at the other uh, portions of this. And on this side of things, on the base price and discount side, you get a point for every one of those rows that you fill out properly. So in this case, if you count it, and then you also add the final price to get a grand total of 25. So each one of those rows is worth one point when we look at discounts. So there's 10 from the total discounts all the way to the base price, there's 10 entries. You get one point for each correct answer. You subtract 10 from 25, that means 15 for your final price. So when you put it all together, we have 50 points total, 50. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's really how you um, fill out the scorecard. That's how you use all of the discounts and the load analysis and also the grade grading card as well. So I hope that has helped you. But before I sign off, I really would like to say a well done to the following teams at uh, this Saturday's competition. Atwater, Houston, Los Molinas, Tranquility. And by the way, do you know how far they come from tranquility to go to these competitions? It's amazing. Anyway, I want to also uh, follow up with a great job to Elk Grove, uh, Escalon, and also Gagori. You guys did a terrific job, and I'm pretty certain that we're going to have some pretty stiff competition throughout the year. If you like this video and videos like this, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, please subscribe. So thanks again for listening. I hope this helped uh, out a bunch. So we'll see you at the next competition. See ya. Bye.